G'day, uh, my name is Tristan. I'm Community Engagement Officer with BioWA. So I help to run and attend volunteer events like we have here today. Today we're at Franz Farm, we're running our pitfall trapping event, which is one of our monitoring events. It brings the community out here to get hands-on with some of the animals that we're trying to protect. We're also collecting data, so that data is really important for informing the way that we do our habitat reconstruction methods and allows us to improve that method over time. But it's also a great opportunity for members of the community to come out and get hands-on with the animals and make that connection with what we're out here to save. So pitfall trapping is one of our monitoring methods that we use and it's basically holes that we've dug in the ground with PVC pipe put in them and a fence that runs between the holes. So there are 10 holes per line. We have 16 lines here at Franz Farm and when an animal comes along and hits the fence they try and get around it and they walk along the fence and fall down into one of the holes. So we come along in the morning, pick out the animals that have fallen into the hole and assess their characteristics, so what species they are, whether or not they're male or female, the condition that they're in, and some of the key characteristics of that particular animal. So for skinks, for example, we might measure the length from their snout to their anus. And for other invertebrates like spiders, we might just record their species. So we also use roof tiles along the pitfall line. So at each hole, we have four roof tiles that we place out on the ground and basically it's another easy monitoring method so we'll come along and we'll build a temporary perimeter around them so that when we lift up the tile animals don't have the chance to escape before we catch them so we lift up the tile and particularly reptiles who like to bask under warm things because they're uh, endothermic they need to get their heat from the outside love to bask underneath the tiles that attract heat when they're in the sun. So it's another way of us being able to capture any other animals that are using these sorts of areas. So when we collect data on these animals, uh, that can help to inform the abundance of animals in an area, so how many of them there are, as well as their characteristics like how many females to males there might be, which can give us information about population dynamics and whether or not they're breeding successfully or in particular ways. And that helps BioA with the types of species that we might plant. So we might plant particular food plants that we know a particular lizard likes to eat or a particular bird. And going forward, that helps us to also plan in the future for particular areas, what plants are we going to use. So if you're watching this and feel like this is something that you'd like to be involved in, we run a whole variety of these sorts of events throughout the year. So from pitfall trapping like we're doing today, through to weeding events of our revegetated areas. We also do bird banding, which is something the kids love and we do that with schools as well. As well as grazing assessment and bushland condition monitoring too. And our big events of the year are really our planting festivals, which generally happen in June. Hundreds of volunteers love to come out and put something back into the soil, so definitely come along to those. Join our newsletter, visit bioar.org.au, that's B-I-O-R.org.au, and you can also join our Facebook and Instagram pages on social media, and we'd love to see you out here.